Well, hello, everybody. This is Ron Legrand, and that handsome gentleman there with me on the screen is Ted Thomas. Ted is actually older than me. That's very difficult to find nowadays. And <laughs> I met him when he had jet black hair, and he's the country's leading expert on tax liens and tax deed certificates. In fact, when I think about those things, I think about Ted in the same thought process. He has literally been doing this for uh, probably more years than I've been in this business. And I thought today, especially during these times, it would be a good time to have a conversation with him because he's got income streams for anybody that wants to listen and implement that literally will work in all over the country and you don't even have to leave your house to make it happen. And it's my job to bring you those kind of income streams now. Uh, if you um, could add more uh, cash flow to your life, this is probably one of the safest ways to do it, if not the safest way to do it. So, Ted, you um, been around for. Now, before I get started, you got to know that when you see this guy in a tie, he wears some of the ugliest ties you've ever seen in your life. That isn't true. That isn't true at all. Look at that shirt. Look at that shirt. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Look at these. Uh, look at these. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. So, Ted. Uh, tell me, what is what is tax liens and what is tax deeds and um, why are we talking about them today? Okay. All right. Well, this is a way for people that want a predictable, certain, and secure investment to get involved. And they can get involved in every state and every environment. But let's first explain what these government certificates are. So all of the properties in the United States, of course, have a tax. Now, we're all used to that. We pay property tax and... Uh, and those property taxes pay for a lot of things like the police and the fire department and so on. And so throughout the country, uh, times change for people. People die. People uh, refuse to pay taxes. And then sometimes you have uh, bad economic times, so they don't pay their taxes. So in half of the states, they sell what's called a tax lien certificate. And I'll come back and tell you about that in a second. In the other half of the states, they sell what's called a tax deed. In other words, they, someone defaulted and you're going to get to the deed to the property. So the local governments, and there's 3,000 counties in the United States, all of them do this, okay? If they don't get paid, they will issue a piece of paper. And I'm just going to hold up by any piece of paper so you guys can see. Just a piece of paper like that that will say tax lien certificate on it. They sell those. And they, when you buy one, you actually pay someone else's taxes. Now, of course, you and I, we don't want to pay anybody's taxes. We don't even want to pay our own taxes. But these taxes you do want to pay because the person that didn't pay their tax is now going to have to, when they do come in and pay, they're going to have to pay a penalty, and you'll get the penalty. So it simply works like this. Local government will sell thousands of these certificates to people who didn't pay their tax. You and I can go in and buy them. And, for example, I live here in Florida like you do. In Florida in the month of May, now that's just a few days away, in the month of May, they will have 1 million certificates available. So every county will have those certificates, and I'll show you more about that in a minute, but those certificates are available, and you can buy them, and when you pay someone else's taxes, now when they come in to pay, and 97% of the people will, when they come in to pay, you're gonna make 18% return. Now, if you think about the bank, Wells Fargo and Bank America, whatever, they're paying like 1%. Now you could earn up to 18% in Florida. And so those certificates are available every single county, every single state. So that's kind of the basics of it. And they are in first lien position. They're ahead Absolutely. Of other, Absolutely. Any other lien. So I guess the real key is that literally the government is paying you that rate of return by selling off that certificate, which uh, states the rate of return. And you, you're either going to get paid with a higher rate of return or you're going to take it to the next step, which you're going to explain in a minute. So this is a truly safe investment if you know what you're doing and you do your homework. Right, right. And so you explained it perfectly. That was exactly right. So they don't invest with Ted Thomas and they don't invest with Ron LeGrand. They're going to invest directly with the government. In other words, their check is written to the government. So it's a predictable, certain, secure investment. Then when the people come in to pay their tax, you and I know, like master charge, if you're late, you have to pay a penalty. Well, with your taxes, it's the same thing. So that penalty, that return, comes back to you. So, you. so these certificates, you invest with the government and you get a check back from the government. And that's what makes them so predictable and so secure. 
So yeah. people like those, especially people with little gray hair. They say, whoa, this is the kind of investment I want to have because they don't, uh, some people don't want to do real estate. You and I, we love real estate. And we can talk about that in a minute. Uh, let me make one other uh, thing and we'll talk about numerous times every call out uh, that we do together. I'll tell you this, that when they issue a tax certificate, they're really being good to those people. They don't foreclose on the house. They don't grab the house and kick the people out. But half of the states don't issue those. So that half of the states, they sell the deed to the property. Like in California, they sell mm -hmm. the deed to the property. So they actually go and literally take the people out and sell you the property and you get the deed. So yeah. Two so different, di different states have different rules and different rates of return and then a little different process. Like every in, state, exactly right. Every Florida. state. And a lot of it's confusing because the words are different. And that's yeah. why 25 years ago, I started teaching people about it because you could learn it in Florida, but it's altogether different going across the line to Georgia or going into Alabama. Complete different rules, complete way to yeah. different process. Okay. So yeah. literally the states that just sell the tax deeds are literally bypassing the tax certificate uh, program and they're just going right for the title to the property. So they're either going to get the property or they're going to get the taxes. Uh, in Florida, exactly. So, we buy so a tax we, certificate. So what I say, it, what I say, and you, you're, you're exactly right. What I say is we live in Florida. You and I, we live in Florida. Florida mm -hmm. and any tax lien certificate state is very benevolent to the people that are there. They don't yeah. kick the people out of the house. So we're not kicking people out. We, the people stay in the house. They just have to pay. When they pay their tax, they're going to have to pay a penalty, and we're mm -hmm. going to make the penalty. So in Florida, we got, what, two years before we can file for a tax deed sale. So That's some right. middle of the third year, we can literally force that, uh, prop that property be paid off and force our rate of return. Right. And that only happens on 1% of the properties. Nin yeah. 90, 97, 98% of the people will pay their taxes. Yeah. But yeah. We, get, we get the option of forcing to get paid, is my point. Exactly. Not the case yeah. with all investments. Yeah. All right. That's right. So now, tax deed sale is right. literally where they auction off the property. Right. It's yeah. gone. All right. Uh, do some states have redemption rights? Right. Now, you live right next to a, a state that has what they call, and this is pretty advanced now, so we're, we're way ahead of ourselves, but that's okay. Uh, the state of Georgia actually sells the deed at auction on the courthouse steps. What they mm -hmm. do. They, they auction off the property and the deed, but it's redeemable. So that's called a redeemable deed. And there's five states that do that. Indiana's another one of them. And, and then uh, uh, um, Rhode Island's another one. I could name them off. It's not important right now. But those, those states have a redeemable deed. But a place like Georgia, the advantage there, so each state has an advantage once you learn how. But the point is in Georgia, you make 20% in one day. So when you buy that certificate, if the guy comes in the next day and pays, you get all your money back plus 20%. You can earn all the way up to 50% in the state of Georgia. 50% oh. and the check comes from the gov government. Nice deal, let me tell you. Nice. So when does this 50% kick in? Well, what happens is in the first year, it's 20%. And so if when, right. well, kind of watch my hands for a second. If the, if the certificate was issued today and it went one year, Okay, on that day, you could start the foreclosure. But I say, if you're my client, I say, don't start a foreclosure because the next year they have to pay you 30%. At the end of that year, yeah. you could have a foreclosure. If they didn't go to 40%, it finally goes to 50%. Yeah. So, yeah. so uh, um, all right. Well, so I'm either going to buy tax certificates or I'm going to go uh, buy the property on a sale if I like the number or both. Right, right. Uh, so again, if I own tax liens, I can force tax deed sales in those right. states that are right. All right. right. So um, now the bigger, I guess probably the bigger question is, golly, how do I manage all these millions of these things all over the country? Uh, how would I even know what to do? Well, first of all, we can teach them all the step-by-step -step process of what to do. But let me just show you some examples of how many certificates there are. I'm just going to reach behind me and get a couple of, a couple of newspapers uh, right now. And uh, you happen to live in Duval County. In Duval County, and I'm going to hold this up for everyone in, in your audience to see, uh, this is a local newspaper. And this local newspaper has the tax certificates in Duval County. And just so you know, I'll read it in the front page. Uh, this, this year, 
they had 34,000, 32, 34,000 certificates were available. And every certificate in here pays up to 18%. So you could just make a business of just doing it in that state. Now we actually teach people now, which we couldn't do a few years ago, we teach them they can do this online. So we can teach them to sit in their kitchen and access these counties and buy these certificates and earn those kind of money. It's amazing. I actually know some people that actually do this for a living. In fact, a couple of them are attorneys. And yeah, yeah, of course. We get a lot yeah. of them. Well, yeah. the attorneys are fortunate because they understand a lot of the county rules where most of our people don't. So we have to yeah. teach them the rules of the auction and how to bid. And in Florida, they have a down bid process, whereas other states, it's an up bid process. Usually you go to an auction, the bidding is up. But in Florida, on tax certificates, the bidding is down. So it's the opposite. See, there's some things to learn here. There's some, uh, it takes a little while. Anyway, Meaning, let's go back to your For question. the sake of the consumer, you're bidding your rate of return down and the lowest right. bid gets up. Okay. Right. Um, well, I got it. You know, I, I'm sure one of the biggest questions right now is, Ted, um, gosh, I don't have a lot of money. Do I need a lot of money to do this? Oh, no, no, no. You can start. Um, uh, I'll, uh, uh, I'll show you a, a, a man here in a minute on video that uh, I taught him how to do it. And he wanted to buy. He actually wanted to get the property. And so I showed him how to go to the auction and buy. And he bought a property for less than $1,000. He bought an actual property because nobody showed up at the auction. He bought a property for $350 and he got a deed to it right then and there. And in just a second, let's just hold on a second. I'm gonna show the audience a little, a, a couple of still pictures of him doing this. Okay, he bought that property for three hundred and sixty dollars, and he rented it out for five hundred bucks a month. So that kind of stuff. So you can start small. So I can start at any level I want, and progress as far as I want, as my cash flow will allow. And again, you're, you're right on. You're, you're right on track. What I what I suggest to people is. Think about where you want to be. If you're a very conservative investor, you want to buy these tax lien certificates because you're looking for yield. You just want yield on your investment. Okay. Right. If you're entrepreneurial, like you and I teach, then you want to try to find these properties for 20 and 30 cents on the dollar. So let's kind of go back to what we just uh, mentioned a minute ago. I'm going to show you a man on video now that he bought a tax certificate but here's the deal on tax certificates. If people don't pay a tax certificate and you own it, you get the property. So let me say that again. If you don't get paid on a tax certificate, you get the property. Now let me just demonstrate that on a video and this guy's gonna stand here and tell us what he paid and he's gonna show us the property and then he's gonna show us how he sold it. He's gonna show us the actual document. You'll actually see the document. So here it comes and then we'll come back and do some more questions. One of the first